part two of season four is coming out on October 2nd. I'm so excited. I cute, I cute, I cute, I cute. Nerd. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch some Transformers. Like, non nerdy people. <laughs> <laughs> also, just FYI, the reason that we talk is because I am reacting to something. <laughs> or else you would just be watching two people watch something. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. So I'm, I will be missing a few things and I will have to ask questions. I'm sorry, but that's yeah, that's nope. how that's how it goes. I guess that means that maybe uh, you're more prepared to uh, to watch the War of Cybertron on Netflix. The one with that Rooster Teeth collaborated in. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, cool. Well, let's I've, do it. And because I mean, if it's one thing that uh, I've heard about it is that uh, you know the the faults of the original series are not present there it's, it's it's very character driven and very like it's actually uh it's very mature apparently it's very mature Ooh. if anything they could to get in the complete opposite direction i've even heard uh some reviews saying that maybe maybe they went a little too dark <laughs> <laughs> so interesting they're like, okay. they're like oh, why is this not more fun <laughs> um, so yeah uh, but uh, i guess that remains to be seen there are some really elaborate uh, Transformers now the, that you said like take an hour to transform. Well, the masterpieces take a long time, and then there's that that freaking Unicron, new that new Unicron that is. It, I don't think it's out yet, but it's, it's a Unicron. Is that a unicorn? Like <laughs> <laughs> See that big guy? Yeah. That's Unicron. Why is it Unicron? It, it does sound like Unicorn. Come on. <laughs> yes, 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 it does. Um, I will skewer you with my horn! No, they, they, yeah, the Spike and uh, his spark plug were super into like just jumping right into this intergalactic war. Uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, we got nothing else to do. Hey, hey. We don't have any yeah. families to go back to, any lives to return to. Uh, it actually doesn't really say a lot of people. Just Angelica Hudson. Woo! <gasps> or Houston. Sorry. Yeah, I. Angelica Houston. You said the wrong name, but I still know who you meant. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, out of the, uh, the main name uh, of this. Of... <laughs> <laughs> or oh. possibly 1989. Oh, so before I was born. It says 1989. Just, well, yeah. Just Hold on. Let me, but, you know, let's, but maybe that's when it was made. Oh, yeah. Let's versus... look up the release year of the original Witches, but not the release year of the upcoming Witches. Because it's so hard. I mean, it's like a few more buttons. You know Anne Hathaway's on it, but like not the release date. You know that it's not going to be in theaters, but HBO Max. <laughs> I love you. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the new one's by Robert Zemeckis. I feel like I knew that. Oh, and this... Familiar. Who's that? We yeah. just talked about him. He's the director of uh, Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um... I don't know names. That's a lie. I, I know some names, but I forget it. So I don't know names. Yeah. I'm giving you a plethora of material for your outtakes. No this kid's probably pushing 40 now. So if you ever see a woman in the street holding her nose as she passes you, she could easily be a witch. She could have she a runny really nose. Mm -hmm. She could have bats in the cave. Bats in the cave? Yeah, you've a mess of boogers in the nose. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Never heard of that before? No. No. Your dog hasn't heard of the term. <laughs> I heard your dog, your dog has it. I was like, all right. Ruff, ruff, ruff. You're my puppy. Hey, do you remember when that, you asked for um, a, uh, like a latte of some kind or a flat white or London fog? You asked for a drink. Mm. And then the, the lovely lady at the till was like, uh, what's your name, sir? And you were like, my name is Doug. She spelled it D-U-G. Like, <laughs> that to me will always like be like, it's like, really, like really? a hilarious moment. But I just, nice. Got so him. Maybe you can answer this question. Yeah. What do the points even do? The point, there's always, you always get points in Mario for like everything you do. I think once you get a certain number of points, you get an extra life. And they're also bragging rights. I don't know if that's rights. ever happened before. I've certainly done it before. Because I am hashtag awesome. Whoa. No. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you know, it was anyone's guess at that point. I'm not okay with how that turned out. Okay. 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 Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no! That was he, bit, he bit my little tuchus. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, do you see? Do you actually see? I do, with my eyes. Yeah, that's probably the best place to see from. Huh. Uh oh. I can't stop. Uh, yeah, you really can't. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're just missing the whole level. No. <laughs> oh, we gotta replay no. this. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> I literally missed everything. Oh. The game was like, I bet you want to do this. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you want to try it? Fudge cookies. Come on. There we go. For cucumber sake. Do you ever like do the like the jumps in this and to feel your balls go <laughs> like just a little like tightening up like huh? <laughs> when you're like I know this isn't heights for real but I still feel it in my scrotum <laughs> exactly quick and easy quick quick and easy just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Of claymation. Oh yeah, tons of time. I can't even. Yeah, for ah, ooh, wow. Yeah, wow. Just like that. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> even to this day, I'm still in awe of anyone who does stop motion animation. Mm -hmm. Um. What was um? There was something that I think you saw just before we started dating. Um. There was a movie. Was it also stop motion? Something I mean, about a boat. I think. A boat. Or a ship. A boat? Or a puppet. Boat, a ship, or a puppet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it was, it was a movie that you said was incredibly made. And then I think you posted a making of, or at least like one of the scenes. And I remember a ship. Could it have been Kubo and the Two Strings? That was it, yes. Okay, yeah, the boat. There was, I think there was a boat in it, but it wasn't about a boat. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, was that before before we or right? I think so. Yeah, Kubo and the Two Strings is phenomenal, and that's probably some of the best stop motion animation ever. Wow. Um, like, <laughs> well, I mean, just that that, that studio, Leica Studio, they they make incredible stop motion films. They they're the ones who did Coraline. I'm sorry. I did, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm just amazed you actually got what I was talking about. <laughs> hey, Editor Doug, please tell me, is, uh, who wants to be a millionaire still a thing? Get on it. Okay. <laughs> Next. It is. Oh, Mark says it is. Okay, well, you can just put a big um, yes. One thing I can say for sure, Regis ain't hosting it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving right along. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, oh my god, you got a haircut. Did you, did you just notice that? I just noticed. <laughs> really? Congratulations. It's, I, I lost... Well, no, I, no, that sounds wrong. I didn't lose hair. Uh, I, it, my hair was so long. It, it was like the longest it's been since we've known each other. It was borderline 70s hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Should I just kept going with that man bun? No. Man bun, man bun. Man bun. I'm really sad to find out that one of the actors passed away in the middle of production, but oh, that's what he gets for throwing out the puppies. Oh, uh oh. oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh. Um, you know, uh, it was actually um, a special effect. They didn't really kill the puppies. <laughs> oh, like a pile of puppies at the bottom. <laughs> Just a pile of them, like, oh my gosh. So by the time Reboot came around in 1994, only 10 years after Transformers debuted, the game was changed visually as well. The game was changed visually as well. That was it. Transformers looked like a relic. Fudgekins! So by the time Reboot. Oh my. Ah. Uh... Okay. So by the time Reboot came around in 1990. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. Do they age? Um. Wait, did I ask this before? How do they procreate? Do, do, <laughs> are they just built? <laughs> you did ask that one before. As I for did. them aging, um, that is. Like, how do they establish one's. How, how old someone is? Yeah, or, and like, like when did they decide to grow? Like, is it just organic? Like, is it like organic metal? Or do they have to build it like they do in robots? He's a big, he's a big boy. This was actually not until 2003 or something like that that this, this toy came out well after the movie. And actually they are releasing a new Unicron that is ginormous. Like, puts this guy's size to shame. It costs a lot of money. I will probably not ever buy it. The cats. Yeah. <laughs> Mad. Mad. Food. Food. Mad. Mad. <laughs> yeah, Ocarina of Time is usually in the top. And then actual, like, I think it's usually higher than Link to the Past, come to think of it. Well, the way I always look at it was because I grew up playing the original Zelda. And I remember beating that game when I was just a little kid. So I beat that game, and then when Super Nintendo came out, and I was playing that, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past came out, and I felt like it was a major improvement on the older game. It is. I couldn't articulate that in my mind, but I just knew that this was better than the old one. Mm -hmm. And then Ocarina came out, and I remember seeing the Game Pro magazine, like, mm -hmm. pictures of it, and it's like, yes, this is real. This isn't a cinematic. Because the camera was, like, looking through the water, and you could see up Link's little skirt. And then, uh, it's the angle that they chose for that one particular... For some reason. Um, and then uh, Twilight Princess was an improvement on that. Even the same formula. Uh, get three items, fight the boss, and then get seven items in some larger quest, more dangerous quest, and fight a bigger boss type deal. So essentially, yeah. yeah. So that was, that was basically uh, A Link to the Past, Ocarina, and then Twilight Princess. And then Breath of the Wild came out, and... That game just blew my freaking hair back. Well, that's one that d defied the formula. It, yeah. It changed, it changed the way. But, and I might get a lot of flack for this, I still think Twilight Princess is a better game story-wise. I don't think people who love Breath of the Wild love it for the story. I think people who love Breath of the Wild love it for its gameplay and open world ideas. Like the fact that you can just kind of like, just do things at your own pace and explore the world. I think yeah. that's why people love that game. It's, it's not for the story. And that's fine. You know, different games have different strengths. Yeah but, yeah, but they could have at least had some form of dungeon mechanics as opposed to the shrine quests, which were basically just... Every shrine, and when I played it, I had the uh, all the, the DLC. Mm -hmm. So when I played it, I beat it, like, fully, and even got, like, the secret ending and everything. And uh, every shrine had the same music, had the same look. Everything was just the exact same. See, even Doug's phone agrees with me. Yeah, it's like, boo -da -boo -da -boo. that is a good point. That is a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, if you consider it like games like <laughs> Twilight Princess or Ocarina, you get secret items that are, or weapons in those dungeons that you then use during your boss fights. or mm. And then once you unlock those items and you get them, you can then explore other areas of the of the overworld and stuff like that and get to secret mm. areas and and that would allow you for more exploration but and each dungeon was unique had its own music had its own theme had its own tone it's true and i guess in conclusion that means that night trap definitely better than uh yeah in conclusion, breath of the wild what we're trying to say is night trap breath, breath of, the of the wild, wild. Uh, way down yeah night trap I love that synthesizer that's trying so hard to be a horn section. It's like, we may never need to use real instruments again. These synthesizers are so good. <laughs> we all wish we, were, we could. Our, or cats, for that matter. Maybe I can figure out Rosa and what she's thinking. I think what she's always thinking is, snacky, 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 snacky. Snack, 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 snack. <laughs> I like that. Just, just gonna be a dog chasing its own tail. Yeah, um, so the whole thing. Yeah, I'm really committing to it. I like it. Bold choice. Okay, and that's it for now.
Yeah. All right. Please get off my desk. Uh, another note is that we, we are cat-sitting right now. So the, there's four cats in this tiny apartment. It's a little crazy. <laughs> uh, so the, if you hear growling and stuff like that, that's... It's normal. They're trying to establish boundaries. Just what ha that's what has... Bleh, bleh. That's what happens. That's what happens. It's how cats communicate. Yeah. There, there's there been no fights, so we're doing mm -hmm. well. Uh, it's but, all vocal. But if you see unfamiliar cats running around or whatever... Cats that kind of look like ours, but not quite. Yeah. That's what's going on. I was going to say knock off Charles and... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Cookie wants to eat the hat. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Cookie wants to eat the hat. No, she's... Okay, she got part of that. Ah, uh, all right. There you go. You're welcome, future Doug.